Hey friends, in this lecture, what we'll try to understand is why do the engineers study strength of material at all? Now, in designing any structure, one must first know what are the loads falling on the structure. And secondly, he must choose a member or a structure that will be strong enough to take in that load. And essentially, a study of strength of material will help us know the strength of the member. Right. So this is the fundamental concept of studying strength of material. Now, what is the difference between rigid body mechanics and strength of material? In rigid body mechanics, we assume that relative displacement between two points within a rigid body or within a body is equal to zero if it is acted by forces. For example, this is a rigid body and A and B are two points and F1, F2, F3 are the forces. So relative displacement between A and B is equal to zero if we consider it as a rigid body or RBM and RAB is not equal to zero. That is, in strength of material, we, we, we presume that we have some deformations and deformations will occur. With forces, we will have some deformation and as such, relative displacement between two points A and B will not be equal to zero. Now, the essential thing that a designer must know is what we consider as failure state. When a design is considered to fail, and failure states are basically of two types. Number one, we have the collapse state, the state at which the structure or the member completely collapses or completely shatters. Suppose I have this pen and I apply a load large enough to break this pen into two halves, then the pen is said to be at collapse state. And that was the strength of the pen at which it collapsed. And I must give it a load that will be lesser than that strength in that collapse state. Right. So basically, one must know the strength at collapse state and one must apply loads on the structure that will be lesser than that strength. So this is number one. Number two is serviceability state. Now one must as a designer also know that we are not going to take any structures that will have excessive deformation because excessive deformations may lead to some problems in structural system it may lead it it will not look nice it will have many problems basically associated with it so we will not take structures that show excessive deformation so one must as a designer limit the deformation number one right and this the serviceability state is basically governed by stiffness so what is stiffness stiffness is the force per unit deformation that is a stiffer member will be able to take in a higher load for one unit deformation whereas a less stiffer member will be taking lower load for that unit deformation so this is stiffness so one must as a designer first choose that what deformation is going to allow and then you must choose a material that will be taking higher loads that is a stiffer material undergoing that deformation right so from this two states we have two strengths from collapse state, we have one strength. From serviceability strength, we have one state strength. So basically, this is the fundamental principle matter of strength of material. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.